Hey, this is Robert from Virtual Set Lab, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use our latest virtual set, this one right here, in a program called vMix. Um, vMix is a live streaming platform um, that allows you to uh, do real-time video editing. Um, you can also do post-production editing if you, if you want to, uh, but it's really more designed for doing real-time uh, video productions. You can stream live, you can stream to Facebook and YouTube and um, all those different platforms. The power of this program comes in that you can actually have virtual sets that have uh, camera moves, um, and various graphics that you can control um, on the fly. So we've got this little lower third here with a Facebook handle and whatnot, um, and we can have that come in and out. Um, we have our presenter and our virtual background and our virtual um, uh, B-roll shot in this monitor area right here. And so we've actually set up this virtual set as a uh, normal template for um, any other video editing platforms that you might use, um, but we've also included for free a vMix version um, that will allow you to just jump right into it. Um, so let me, um, I'm gonna completely wipe this and show you from scratch um, basically how it works. So let me do that. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is load up the virtual set. And when you download the file from us, um, it's in a zip folder, you'll wanna unzip that folder, and, uh, and then you'll see the normal uh, MP4s and graphics files that usually come with the virtual set. Um, and then you'll also see a vMix folder. And for the vMix folder, um, you'll wanna load up vMix and then click Add Input. Come over here to Virtual Set and browse to the folder, to your vMix folder for that particular set. We're gonna use the blue hex virtual set. Hit select folder. And then there's actually an XML file inside of the um, vMix folder that tells it how to uh, uh, put everything together. And so this is kind of what you'll see when you first load up the virtual set. You've got a bunch of different uh, monitor options. Um, and then you can see your main presenter um, area. And um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up um, the footage that we're gonna use. Normally you would maybe use a video input. So if you have a webcam hooked up to your computer or any other kind of camera, you can add that as an input and put yourself behind a green screen and then do this in real time. But since I'm not doing it that way, I'm just going to drag in uh, a piece of green screen footage that I have and I'll go ahead and hit play on it and tell it to loop and now it's just gonna play and loop for as long as we have it there. Um, and then I'm also going to import a piece of B-roll footage to throw up in a monitor. So that's gonna be this piece of footage. Do the same thing, hit loop, hit play, so it'll start playing. Um, so this is your virtual set settings right here. Um, so we'll go to setup and then you have all of your different layers already laid out for you. So you have the virtual set, which is the background layer, and then you have all the different screen monitors and then your talent layer as well. And so we're gonna switch the talent to, so we're gonna select it, and then we're going to tell it that the input is this piece of footage right here, which is our green screen lady on the screen there. And now we need to chroma key out the background. Um, this is very easy, just click this gear icon Go over to color key, click the eyedropper tool, sample your green in the monitor, and then I just, right here, they've got these auto key, uh, key pre presets, and they actually work pretty good. I'm gonna hit number two, and that'll knock the green screen right out. Pretty decent, clean key there. All right, um, and then the next thing we're gonna do is decide which monitor we wanna use in the scene. So I'm gonna use the monitor that is just over her left corner, or left, Let's see, our left, her right hand shoulder. Um, and so I'm gonna leave those on, but for screen two, three, and four, I'm going to select it and then turn that layer off. So I'm gonna go down and select these different layers and turn their visibility off on this layer. So all we have left is input one here. Um, and so now I'm gonna go back to screen one and I'm gonna change the input for that to this piece of footage right here, which automatically scales and positions your footage in the screen there. All right, 
Um, and then next what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna import one of the lower thirds into the scene. And these also come with every angle of the virtual set. Choose the YouTube one. And so you'll see if I click on it and hit play, you'll see it's the little YouTube lower third. And then if we wanna get that on top of our presenter, we'll just hit this. These are kind of like layers. So we've got a uh, layer one and then layer two. Um, you can also loop this or not. Um, and then what we'll wanna do, I'm gonna play it for a little bit and then pause it for a second. And then I'm gonna click the gear icon and position it where I want it. You can also zoom in, zoom out, like that. And if you want text to show up here, the, the social media lower thirds um, templates actually come with uh, Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop, and a couple other different formats. And so what you'd wanna do is go into one of those programs or in your own video ed editing program, add your handle on this onto this lower third and then export a, uh, a video that you could import into say vmix just like this um, and so play through here so now the way i've got this set up we've got our virtual set we've got our presenter we've got our b-roll footage and then if I ever want to queue up this uh, YouTube handle, then as you know, we're presenting um, in, during the show, I could just hit the play button here and it'll show up on the screen. And uh, it only shows up for a couple of seconds and then it'll actually go away. Um, so the same thing for the presenter, if we want to move her around, um, we just click the gear icon and then reposition our presenter anywhere in the scene. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so you can actually set up multiple instances of the virtual set um, with you know one with the monitor one without um, you can queue between those two different sets um, on over here in this camera settings for the virtual set um, there are four different preset camera moves so you can uh, start on a wide shot and then zoom in pan close up shot and then back to the wide shot and let's see these uh, F M S and C these are uh, the speed at which this camera runs so fast medium slow and then cut would cut between the different camera shots so yeah so vmix a uh, great piece of software highly recommend it we have a lot of clients and customers that use vMix, and so we've had a lot of requests for us to uh, create our sets in this format. So um, as long as these are uh, uh, popular, then we'll continue to make them, and uh, we hope it helps, and we hope this tutorial uh, helped answer some questions.